Liverpool Football Club, a name that resonates with glory in the world of football, has recently reached new heights of success. The Reds, as they are fondly called, have been unstoppable, bagging trophies and etching their name in the annals of football history. The Premier League trophy, a coveted prize in English football, found its way back to Anfield after a long 30-year wait, a season full of grit, determination, and an unwavering belief in victory saw Liverpool emerge as the undisputed champions, leaving their rivals trailing in their wake. The Champions League victory was another feather in their cap, proving their dominance not just domestically but across Europe. Key to these victories were a band of brothers, each playing their part to perfection. The attacking trio of Mohamed Salah, Sadio Mane and Roberto Firmino, with their lethal combination of speed, skill and precision, left defenders and goalkeepers alike in a daze. But let's not forget the Irish charm that has been sprinkled throughout the team's history. Kawimhin Kelleher, the young Irish goalkeeper, showed his mettle when called upon. Stepping into the big shoes of Alison Becker, Kelleher held his own, proving that the future is bright for Liverpool's last line of defence. His calmness under pressure, reflex saves and ability to play out from the back have been a testament to the Irish resilience and quality. Then we have the stalwart Seamus Coleman, a beacon of consistency and reliability. His leadership, both on and off the pitch, has been instrumental in the team's success. His Irish grit and determination have been an inspiration to his teammates, pushing them to strive for more. Liverpool's recent success is a symphony composed of many parts, each playing a crucial role. The Irish influence, though subtle, has been significant. It's a testament to the club's belief in diversity and unity, where players from different backgrounds come together to create a harmonious and victorious melody. When glory calls, Liverpool answers, and the Irish blood in the team has been a part of that call to victory. But let's not forget, the Irish have a long-standing history with Liverpool Football Club. Now let's cast our minds back to the early 20th century when the first Irish player, Bill Lacey, donned the red jersey. A formidable force, Lacey from County Kildare, was an integral part of the team that won back-to-back -back league titles in the 1920s. His flair and tenacity set a precedent for the generations of Irish talent to follow. Fast forward to the 1970s, we find ourselves in the era of the indomitable Steve Highway. Born in Dublin, Highway's blistering pace and uncanny ability to score from the wing made him a fan favourite. His contributions were instrumental in securing four league titles and two European Cups. Highway's legacy is a testament to the enduring impact of Irish talent on Liverpool FC. As we move into the late 80s and early 90s, Ronnie Whelan emerges as a key figure. A native of Dublin, Whelan's versatility and leadership on the pitch saw him become a mainstay in the Liverpool side for over a decade. His role in the club's six league titles and European Cup win in 1984 further solidified the Irish influence on the club. Then there's the charismatic Robbie Keane. Although his stint at Liverpool was brief, Keane, a Dubliner, made his mark with his dynamic playing style and infectious enthusiasm. His love for the game was palpable, reminding us all why football is often referred to as the beautiful game. And of course, we can't forget about the Irish influence off the pitch. Renowned for his tactical acumen, Belfast-born Brendan Rodgers led Liverpool to their highest league finish in two decades during the 2013 to 2014 season. His tenure as manager marked a resurgence for the club, paving the way for the successes they enjoy today. The Irish legacy in Liverpool FC is rich and profound, a testament to the talent that this small island nation has produced. The indelible mark left by these Irish players and managers on Liverpool Football Club is a testament to their skill, dedication and the enduring bond between Ireland and this beloved football club. While the Irish have made their mark in English football, they've had their own golden era back home. This era, stretching from 1988 to 2004, was a time when the Irish national football team commanded the pitch, dictating play with a blend of grit, skill and undeniable passion. It was a period when the Irish tricolour waved proudly in stadiums across the globe, a testament to the team's unwavering spirit and determination. In the summer of 1988, the Irish team, led by the charismatic Jack Charlton, made their debut at the European Championships. 
Against all odds, they defeated England, one of the tournament favourites, in their opening match. Ray Houghton's goal, a sublime header, etched itself into Irish folklore, marking the beginning of an unforgettable journey. The next milestone came in 1990 at the World Cup in Italy. The Irish team proved they were no one-hit wonders. They reached the quarter-finals, a feat that had seemed unimaginable just a few years prior. This achievement was a testament to the team's resilience and Jack Charlton's astute leadership. As we moved into the new millennium, the Irish team continued to make waves. The World Cup in 2002, held in South Korea and Japan, was another high point. The team, under the guidance of Mick McCarthy, battled their way to the last 16. The tournament will forever be remembered for Roy Keane's controversial departure, but also for the team's performances that ignited a nation's pride. Indeed, the golden era of Irish football was not just about the victories on the pitch. It was about the unity and joy the team brought to the people back home. It was about the heroes it created, players like Paul McGrath, Robbie Keane and Damien Duff, who inspired a generation to dream big. The golden era of Irish football was a time of national pride and joy, a period that will forever be etched in the hearts of football fans. Fast forward to today, and the Irish influence in football is still very much alive and kicking. The Emerald Isle continues to send its finest talents to the heart of the football world, with players from Ireland making waves in Liverpool FC and other major leagues. Take a look at Cowimin Kelleher, for instance. This young goalkeeper from Cork has proven himself to be a reliable last line of defence for Liverpool. He's not only a shot stopper, but a playmaker, a modern keeper who's as comfortable with his feet as he is with his hands. He's a clear testament to the quality of Irish talent and a shining example of the impact they're making in modern football. And let's not forget about Seamus Coleman. Though not a Liverpool player, this Donegal man has been a stalwart for Everton for over a decade. Coleman, with his tireless work rate and leadership, is the embodiment of the Irish spirit on the pitch. Over in the Championship, Jason Malumby and Jason Knight are two young Irish midfielders making a name for themselves. Their performances have not gone unnoticed, with Malumby earning a move to Brighton and Hove Albion, a Knight being named Derby County's Player of the Year in 2020. These players represent the latest wave of Irish talent making an impact in English football. They follow in the footsteps of the greats, carrying on the legacy of the Irish in the beautiful game. It's not just about the goals they score, the tackles they make, or the saves they pull off. It's about the passion they bring, the resilience they show, and the pride they take in representing their homeland. It's clear that the influence of the Irish in football extends far beyond the shores of the Emerald Isle. And it's not just about the past, but very much about the present and the future. The Irish continue to leave their mark on the beautiful game from Liverpool to every corner of the football world. And as we look to the future, we can't help but wonder what's next for Irish football. As the dawn of a new era beckons, Irish football seems poised to mark its presence with a new generation of talent. Young players are rising through the ranks, showing promise, grit and a flair that is distinctively Irish. Take for instance the fiery midfielder Conor Noss from Borussia Mönchengladbach. Aged just 20, Noss is already making a name for himself in the Bundesliga. His tenacity on the field, combined with his ability to read the game, is a promising sign of what's to come. In the English Premier League, the young Irish striker Adam Ida is turning heads. Despite being only 21, he's already showing the kind of finishing prowess that would make Robbie Keane proud. His lightning-fast speed and lethal finishing could make him the next big name in Irish football. But it's not just about individuals. The future of the Ireland national team also looks promising. The team's performance in recent years has shown a shift towards a more dynamic attacking style of play. The focus on youth development and the infusion of new talent suggests that the team could make a strong showing in upcoming tournaments. The development of domestic football in Ireland is also a key factor. The League of Ireland has been nurturing homegrown talent, providing a platform for young players to hone their skills and gain valuable experience. This could play a crucial role in shaping the future of Irish football. And let's not forget the fans, the beating heart of Irish football. Their passion and unwavering support have always been the driving force behind the team. As long as the fans are there cheering on from the stands or in front of their TV screens, Irish football will continue to thrive. 
With talent like this, the future of Irish football looks brighter than ever, and we can't wait to see where the journey takes us next.